the husband goes into oh one of the rooms. And then all I hear, he's like, Myra. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I hope something didn't fall on him. I'm hurt, like, hoping they're not injured. Someone popped out. And so I walk into body. the room. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't so know. So I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, what happened? I'm like, well, now I have to go in the house. So I go into the room and then he like looks at me and like laughs. And I'm like, what? And then I look all around the room and it was filled with porn stuff. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Behind the Lockbox. I'm your host, Stephanie Zalowski, here with Cameron Barbier. Yeah. Today, we have the pleasure of having a very dynamic guest with us. She went from being a reporter at TMZ. Yes, TMZ, the show up in LA. I did not tell her this. I did not know I that. Her reaction. That's so cool. <laughs> she is now a badass agent here in La Jolla and actually all over San Diego, and she's with our own brokerage, Compass. Uh, if you follow her on social media, you may have seen her fantastic TikTok dances that I do not have the moves <laughs> for. It is impresses me every. Have you seen? No. Oh, we're like, like all about so excited. <laughs> She's so good. I'm like, dude, I would look like a white girl trying to dance, and it would not be good. <laughs> She's <laughs> one of the most caring and hardworking females I know. Oh. Myra Mendoza, welcome to Behind the Lockbox. Thank you, Stan. Thank you, Thank you. TMZ. Yes, tell okay. me more about this. I recognize her from TMZ. I mean, you, <laughs> well, never know. you were on the show. Oh, yeah. But I mean, it was, it's been years and I had really dark hair. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. And I mean, I've been blonde for a while now, but I literally was like jet black hair when I was at TMZ. So. That, so cool? <laughs> that is so cool. I, Wait, we tell me there, more about this. We were in there changing and I was like, she's like, tell me about her. And I was like, well, it's in the intro and you're going to be like, wait, what? And like, <laughs> so when I say it, then you could ask. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, what that was your time there? Of crazy um you know i used to work about 80 hours a week and i was always on call so almost you know just like real estate things seem very glamorous yeah mm-hmm. on tv on camera but you never know what's going on behind the scenes just like behind the yeah, box yes, yes. right and here we are right. um but no it's interesting it was fun um you know a little bit of everything when i work there some of the biggest stories i covered were the uh Tiger Woods cheating scandal, mm. which I never forget because he ruined my Thanksgiving. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was. Did you have to go record one. <laughs> well, it was Thanksgiving Day, and you know, there's like minimal staff, and you're just hoping nothing, nothing brings, and you're like, okay, I get to go home and be with my family. Well, and I feel like TMZ. I mean, truly, they are one of the sources. If they report on something, it's usually always spot on absolutely. right i mean they are really credible when it comes to that kind of stuff absolutely so when it breaks they want to be the first and yes and that's always the goal with tmz yeah to get the exclusives um so anything that is reported is double triple quadruple like just sourced you know it's just not oh hey this happened right um allegedly the, like really yeah mm-hmm. and the best example of that is actually uh because i also worked there during the michael jackson death Wow. Yeah, that was extremely insane. And wow. so um, everyone just kind of went off of what TMZ said. Right. Because right? no one wanted to say, hey, Michael Jackson died. So or everyone overdosed or they didn't want to say anything like, you know, defamatory. Yeah. Right. So everyone started saying, you know, TMZ reports, uh-huh. you know, and then until they were able to confirm on their own. And then all of a sudden they started taking credit like, we have confirmed from our sources, yeah. Now, but right at the beginning, everyone started taking the news from us from TMZ. Wow. So I will say that they they are very credible. Yeah. You know, it's um, it's mostly like celebrity stuff, right? Is, yeah. Okay. It is celebrity um, based, and you know the the truth is, <laughs> celebrities that want to be private can stay private. Oh. Really? Oh yeah. I think it's a lot of you know. There's a a tip line and um kardashians were always ones that wanted everyone to know where they were at i feel like they've admitted that too oh yeah yeah, yeah. i mean their publicity stunts i mean they they know how to work the media but it was always funny because you know that someone would call and be like oh they're gonna be here and it's like oh wow okay someone oh, hi chloe yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't think you were gonna be here chloe stop using your uh, voice for <laughs> <Facebook>. change here <laughs> She's like, oh, no, someone is gonna. They're like, hi, hi Chloe. Yeah. Nice, nice to hear from you. Yeah, one we'll and, be there. I'm on my way. Yeah. What about like Britney? What was that? What about Britney? I feel like she did not want to be. But... She didn't. But you know, I think it's different when you have court cases going on. Yeah. Um, because I was the court reporter, so I covered a lot. Like, did I said, you go I was, and sit in court? Yeah, I was there for, like I said, the Michael Jackson trial. 
Um, Isn't that you know, so cool? That's so cool. Yeah. It's wild. So Lindsay Lohan, I sat in all of her hearings. Wow. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's just, I was in there with a lot of the celebrity kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. But that's also when something in me started like changing because I was like, you know what? They're human. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and for me, it started feeling like what I was doing was hurting people as yeah. opposed to helping sure which now i obviously do the complete opposite right like, i was I'm just a, gonna say this is yeah. a good segue because she is a, like i said in the bio one of the most caring humans and she really mm. cares about her clients so when she we went to lunch one day and she was like yeah like when i worked at tmz and i was like i'm sorry what like it didn't <laughs> even really it didn't add up for me because i know how you me. are yeah i know you and i'm like tell me everything like are you like really good at researching the properties then everything yeah, and the all client, resources. She's like, the Sir? agent the client the property I like everything. i have everything on file oh yeah <laughs> yeah she's like your credit score 720 no. I, don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so okay i don't know that's for the lender to do i don't certain things i don't mess with but I, but when you have a new buyer you're good at googling making sure you're working with someone who's not gonna you know kidnap you my god yeah, I know. <laughs> I research them too. I mean, it's females. No, we oh to. yeah, yeah. Every time you tell me you're going to somewhere, I'm like, you text me when you leave. Yeah, and get oh, there. Yeah, and I put. Oh my gosh, yeah. this is a funny segue. But you know how, like, on our sentry boxes, you can put like a safety person. Yes, and like I put her and my mom. Well, when that first rolled out, I didn't hit like cancel, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, I couldn't get the lockbox. It was like one of those days where you're just like fumbling in front of your client. You're like, hey, yeah, everything's fine, everything's fine, you know. And then I'm like, threw my phone in my pocket. I get out of the showing. I, I didn't realize Cam has called me Wait, like six times. My up. mom has called oh, me like wow. nine times because the safety went off and it was like, they get, do, does it give you the location? Um, I've never seen it because I only... I don't remember, but I remember me and your mom were then side texting, calling each other like, oh is she God, okay? We are freaking so bad. out. I felt so bad. But you know what I mean? Like, because yeah. I was with a newer client, but it was, no, actually I wasn't. I was with someone I knew, but I just accidentally like, so now every time I open, I'm like, cancel, cancel, cancel. Like it's yeah. going to call. Yeah. So you did anyway. that like three times though. Let's yeah. be honest. My bad. My well, bad. To that point, I think that's another thing people don't realize when in being in this field, right? Like the dangers oh, of yeah. you know, your clients because it's always and like being oh, a female. Like, that. Yes. Because it's also something to be very aware of at open houses. Yes. You know, yes. just as a woman, and I'm not saying for men, I'm sure like, you know, for men is it's dangerous too, but of obviously course. women are more it's, of a target. It's right? very different. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's always being careful with who your clients are. Yeah. You know, when you're at open houses, I mean, that's, you know, one of the weird things that it's happened yep. where I think one um, open house I was doing, this guy came by, mm -hmm. um, you know, and he's wearing these tight biker shorts. You know, I'm talking about like, everything's mm -hmm. just kind of Real popping snug. out. Oh. Yeah. Snug, snug. And I'm like, hmm, you know, odd. And he comes in, he's looking around. You know, it's a big house, two-story home. So that's even a little more. Well, yeah, uh, because people scary. can be hiding when you're like going to turn off lights. I'm always like on edge, like ready oh, yeah. to fight, you know, yeah. it's, it can be. Yeah. Yeah. And for him, you know, after he's done, of course, I'm like, hey, you know, what did you think of the house? And he's like, oh, too big for me. I live in the area already and I want to look for a condo or, you know, just something smaller. So, like, so it's kind of like, yeah, exactly what I thought. So already that's. Yeah, you know, triggered, yeah. and if yeah. something in us starts, it tells to, us. It does. Mm -hmm. Our gut is never you need wrong. To no. to it. Yep. It's yeah. happened to me, and I literally got. I waited outside until he left, and I closed the open house. Oh yeah, I was done. That's yeah. After that, you kind of have to be because mm -hmm. you don't know what's going to happen, right? And yeah, and with him, same thing. He left. He you know left his information, followed up, and all the information was wrong, mm -hmm. right? So the interesting part for me was I did the, and this was years ago, and I did the open house the following weekend again, and he showed up again. Oh, oh hell no. So, I mean, he had already told me, you know, he wasn't interested in the home one. There's something right. smaller. And oh. it's not like left he was like, hey. Left the wrong information. Yes. And it's know. not like he was like, hey, my neighbor's interested. I wanted to introduce you guys. He was, You didn't get that vibe. It was straight up like, let me come back in. And oh, yeah. God. No, so I called what him happened? out on it. I called him out on it. Good. Oh, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, and I remembered his name, which is crazy because just recently – you know, there's websites that we have as realtors looking out for each other. And someone, this was years ago, like I said, and the guy's still doing it. Oh, so someone wow. posted him on, you know, like, hey, beware of this guy. He comes to your open houses. And I'm like, oh, wow, he's still around. Whoa. Yeah. So it's, wow. it's scary because I don't, I really don't know what his intentions are. Yeah. But when he, yeah, when he came back, I remember, like you said, you know, I was like, oh, gosh, here he is. So, yeah, I, I did confront him. I said, hey, you left the wrong information. Well, no, I didn't. Like, this, like, what did I leave? I'm like, well, why don't you tell me? <laughs> you know, right and he yeah. couldn't tell me i love that so then i was like okay so at that point i'm just like oh my gosh like someone else walked in and yes, luckily yes. a couple walked in right yeah. so at that point i said hey 
um, you know, do you guys mind? I just, you know, go ahead and look at the house, but I'm going to have to close up, you know, but I do need to check the house first. And I kind of explained to them what was going on. And they were like, oh, my gosh, yes, you know. Yeah. So luckily they were there. And yeah, like you said, when the moment like that happens, you you have to look out for yourself. And yeah. you're like, OK, well, it's time to to close up to and go. To close up and go. Yeah. I'm glad you did that. Yeah. That happened to me, not at an open house, but a showing somewhere yeah. I was really far east of uh, San Diego and I opened them up because um, they said they were parking, but they t- I guess it took a long time for them to park or they mm-hmm. got a phone call or something. And some really weird guy walked by. It was like a gate and he started to walk in and I froze mm-hmm. and the door was open and I picked up my phone and just started saying, oh, yeah, 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 I see you. And he like came to the door and he started talking to me and I was just like, I, my buyers are like right behind you. And luckily he left. But after that, like all the things just flood through my head of what could have happened. Mm-hmm. I'm like, never opening the door and leaving it open like that. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting till they come. Anyways, I actually really honestly don't. Uh, if I'm doing a showing with a buyer and I'm meeting them there. I no longer actually go in and get all the lights on and set up the property unless it's one of our listings because you don't know what you're going to go into. And I actually, I think it was during COVID or right before there was an agent that got attacked. And so, and she made it out, but like there have been agents, this is taking such a dark turn, but there have been agents that have been murdered. I mean, and female ones. And so you just have to be so careful. Your clients will understand. Oh, every time I'm like, hey guys, I I always tell them, I'm going to wait for you to get there. Like, you know, once we get there, we turn on all the lights, we take our time, we do, I make sure I schedule enough time. It's not worth it. Yeah. Like you don't need to, you don't need to be, you know what I mean? But open houses, I mean, even is like, do you want to do it alone this weekend or do you want someone else? And a lot of time, like Annette will do it with just because like, you just don't know, you know? And I, and if you are alone, we're always like, call us, we're a mile away. Like we will come, you know what I mean? So yeah, you got to be careful, but. Yeah, it is dangerous and, and that's yeah. just something for everyone to be aware of. It's true. It's not all the it's glamour true. that people, it's, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's it's like, sunset. <laughs> oh God. There ain't no glamour. I don't know what anyone is talking about. <laughs> I, I, yeah, no, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> but I love it. Yeah. No, those are just situations. Like I said, everyone, when they get people calling me, hey, I want to be a, you know, a real estate agent. Yeah. Like, and then I tell them like what it is. But right. don't you ever feel like sometimes people come to you and they ask you that question. And then when you start telling them what it is, they think you're lying to them. Like you're almost like trying to discourage them. Is I haven't got that. Yeah. Well, oh. maybe. I mean, I it's I haven't got. Maybe they haven't. I just didn't realize it. But like well, I'm like very intuitive. Like yeah, <laughs> they're I, like yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe I don't know because a lot. Of, I just said, look, you can do this if you want, but you need to understand like this is not flexible. This is not. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like if you're gonna work, you're girl, you're gonna work. Yeah, to get those commissions. And so it's all the time. All the time. Well, never that's, stops. Yeah. No, no, people think is you know, like I said, they you go from a uh, whatever eight to five, nine to six job to working twenty four seven. Yeah, and it really is the re- reality. Must be something <laughs> sick with us because I will never change it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there is. I think yeah, you have to is. be a certain level of you know, like for me, and I know I'm a workaholic. I always Same. have been. I mean, like yeah. I said at TMZ, I worked eighty plus hours and was on call a week. You know, like that's... Yeah. So it's just always been in me. Yeah. So same, same thing like you said. For and me. you got to love it. And then if not, like I'll find something else that I love. Maybe podcasting. I don't know. We'll there see. you go. <laughs> Whatever you're passionate for. That's true. It's very true. Okay. Do you have any like funny stories or yeah, outlander stories? Yeah. 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 I know. We got a little, little depressed. Yeah. <laughs> I know. We went into like the, just, like, hey, the darkness. You know We've actually not talked about this yes. yet. So I'm glad so, we got in. Uh, yes. So. I'm really glad that we touched on it because again, there's so many different types of people listening to this. And so I just think it's very important to to talk about that because again, it's it's not something that we've broached yet. And it's it's a real it's good thing. To be aware. Yeah. yeah. No, 100%. Good. Well, I'm glad yeah. we touched on it. Thanks for so. bringing that. But it'll <laughs> yeah. be fine. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I told change it up. <laughs> I told you guys she was dynamic. Was I wrong? Or was I wrong? <laughs> but anyway. But thank you. Yes. No. Yeah. No, I think one of the things I remember a lot, um, we were going to a showing. And, you know, this is, luckily, they were, like, a young couple, super fun, right? Um, The house says it's vacant, because, of course, you know, you're always looking. But the house looks full of stuff. So, obviously, now you're like, okay, well, they're not living here. Yeah, there's no one there, but there's stuff. So, you know, either eviction or something, right? Right. Because the new buyer is going to be responsible for removing all the items from the house. That's what it said. That's what it said. Okay. Okay. So, we're like, okay. So, we still go look at it and... um, from the moment I walked in, right? Like, it just felt off. It, you do. You know? Girl, I'm intuitive like that, too. Your gut is never <laughs> wrong. But it just felt like, you know, there was just a weird sense. Yeah. And I told my clients, I'm like, hey, no, you know, if you guys want to go look, 
go for it. I'm just going to wait here by the door. And then they're like, oh, okay, you know, so they go in, they start looking and um, the husband goes into oh, one of the rooms. And then all I hear, he's like, Myra. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I hope something didn't fall on him. I'm hurt, like, hoping they're not injured. Someone popped out. And so I walk into body. the room. Yeah. <laughs> he just don't so know. I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, what happened? I'm like, oh, well, now I have to go in the house. So I go into the room and then he like looks at me and like laughs and I'm like, what? And then I look all around the room and it was filled with porn stuff. And he literally was like, this literally just came up last week's episode. Did it? Not like this. You'll hear when it comes out, but like people are weird, man. What's up with San Diego? I think this room. Was it plastered? So there was, I mean, everything, magazines, DVDs. There was, um... Is this the same Wesley that she looked at with Wesley? <laughs> <laughs> what, oh, did, was this in La Jolla? No. Okay. No, this was actually, well, should I... You can well, say what part of town. years ago. It was yeah, years ago, but it was a uh, home near Mission Valley. Okay, okay. Yeah. But it was, um, yeah, it was just crazy because... Was it just like the room was just like piled with oh, like yeah. all this stuff? I mean, you had shelves full. I mean, I'm not even talking like one, two, vid- what like DVDs. No, it was shelves and the, there was posters and i'm sure you can guess what kind of posters oh my god all over the room and then toys yes no yeah. they're like up on a shelf in display cases somewhere <laughs> i'm not kidding <laughs> and then i don't know if you guys have ever seen the type of curtains they're like these wood like curtains like they're oh, old school yes. like walk through like this yes yes, 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 yes literally yes. so that was the closet door was replaced with that Right, so my client, like the seventies, like curtains, yeah, like yes, like the, the, like the wood, yeah. And so my client still there, you know, What's kind in that of closet at your grandma's. We need to find out, grandma. Yeah, so my client actually happened to, you oh, know, just like open it up. Of course, he's curious. Uh, I thought more, I would be too. I'd be like, what is in here? Yeah, no, and like, more stuff. Just yeah, I mean, so it's, the whole house was like, was there a tenant? No, that was that a bedroom in there. Who knows? The house, the house was full of personal items. We don't know what happened, but one room was definitely dedicated to just. Did they buy for it? fun? No. <laughs> Damn. No. <laughs> They're like, yeah, they actually kept that room as is, just for <laughs> shits and giggles, right? They wanted a collection. No, oh but no, yeah, it was it was was embarrassing because you're just, you know, how do you react with your client, right? Like, okay, did you, you know them super well? No, this was a uh, a newer client, <laughs> newer client. So this was probably the well, second round after that. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was probably like the second round of homes we had looked at, and it was like, oh my god, that's hysterical. Yeah, yeah so oh my god, that one was I mean, a little interesting. Guys, anything yeah. you just you never know what's around any corner, you <laughs> especially certain parts of town. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, has anything ever happened to you at an open house? Oh yeah, I think you usually have that where you know with open houses or people using the bathroom. Mm. Shit. Yeah, it's yeah, and I think one of um like something had happened where the water didn't work. <laughs> Like the like it, it the, wasn't like, turned on. Yes. So like someone. Oh, no. Yeah. So then of course I'm closing up the the open house and You're I'm like just, something smells weird. No. You know and yeah and I was like oh my god you know so yeah I mean people it's a weird thing like too people come into the open houses and a lot of times they're asking me if they can use the bathroom. It ha- it ha- that happens a lot actually. Yeah. And actually so dolphin my waterfront listing I talked about this on our very first episode. We had squatters in there. So for anyone that listened to that, heard about that, they had broken in. But we were we had workers there too. So before that even happened, I'm there and I'm getting ready to do a showing. And we'd had workers there judging it up and like doing all kinds of stuff. And I walk upstairs to like the hall bathroom that serviced like the back two bedrooms. Mm-hmm. And everything should have been working. Like electricity was on, water was on, all of it, right? And I walk by and I'm like, and I look and there's poop in the toilet. And not a little, like a lot. <laughs> like one of the workers, he didn't flush. No, and I tried to flush it, and there's nothing. See, oh, yeah, man. there's nothing, and I'm like, oh my god, and I think the water was off, like mm-hmm. on that. But I ended up calling our handyman. I'm like, uh, we have a situation, yeah. and I just closed the lid, and I was like, please do not let them, because sometimes buyers are like, just opening everything, and you're like, can you please just go in that bathroom? Luckily, it had been there for a couple of days, so like it wasn't like smelly. You know, when you walked by, you didn't smell anything. But I was like, oh my god, can we? You know, it's a seven million dollar waterfront, and I've got toilet, and I'm about to do a showing, so that was great. When speaking of which, so speaking of <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was interesting. It was a uh, for a listing, um, so I was getting the house ready for the photos, and you know, and of course, I'm like 
walking through the house and I'm going to the bathroom and I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, hmm. I look over at the toilet and right where the handle is. Yeah. It's just full of what should have been wiped with toilet paper. Yeah. So then <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know. And then like, and seriously, I was just like, hmm. At that moment, right? Because you're just, or problem solvers right a hundred percent at this point i'm like well I, I can't go well i mean i could but i don't want to go tell the seller because i don't want to embarrass right them right right so i'm like okay well this it's is not like it's a random showing that you're doing with a buyer and like the other agent can deal with it this is like your listing yes yeah. so i was like okay well yeah i had to take matters into my own hands yes. and yes <laughs> and i'm like so it's things you again realize guys not glamorous. Yeah, not glamorous. Yeah. Not glamorous. It's like, this is the stuff people don't talk about. It's like, no, you know, like, we're cleaning this kind of stuff. We're getting the home nope. ready and things you come across. Sneaky. and Leaf blowing. Picking up oh. dog poop. Like, all of it. Yep. All <laughs> of it. It's insane. That it is. is. It's a lot more than what people think goes into it. Yeah. And yeah, so that was one situation where I was like, wow, like, you know, I'm like, I need to just get this done. And to this day, the seller doesn't Enough. know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, unless they knew it was there. And then they saw that it was clean. Yeah, maybe, but <laughs> they're not going to bring it up, probably. Was it was this the master bathroom or was it another bathroom? No, it was a downstairs. It was like the... Do they have kids or like any... It was no. Just one person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, how do it how do have been his or hers? I mean... <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. But I never brought it up and they never brought it up. So, the but way- it was cleaned. And maybe he forgot i don't know or she forgot you know what i mean you're like oh i don't know how that happens i don't know what i'm saying but like yeah so you take way to oh, try to i know i'm trying to try to stick up for you whoever you are but like it's not happening it's wild it's it, wild yeah Amber's job of real estate what should we title this episode glamorous not so much <laughs> i like that yeah, <laughs> so <would it>. yeah. <laughs> the reality right it's true it's so true i yeah. know what else you got? I know you've got some other stories. <laughs> I mean, there's always stories, you know, but other I think. Other than the porn, you know. Uh, oh, of course you like that one. I love that one. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sure my my client did too. You know, there was there, yeah. a smile there. Did you sell them something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Not that one, but yes. <laughs> Very sad it wasn't that property though. Aren't you? I know. Yeah. So you would have had a whole collection. Yeah. Yeah, for keep for keeps for keeps yeah oh my god all those <laughs> possessions in that house were so ones for the taking man or there's definitely some freaky dinky stuff going but, on okay wait a minute we gotta go back to this for a second <laughs> you my listing agent if you told me like maybe you'd warn them yeah. or, or remove them or remove it well you said there was no tenants in there or there was no it was no. vacant it was they yeah were like, they were like possessions yeah why would on you the have property to clean up? is that exactly the seller to make like I would never. Right? I, I mean, the same. it would be funny. I would take a video of it and then be like, this is what we walked in on as the as and then the seller. Remove. And then remove it. I mean, like, maybe it was the, age, the listings agent secret stash. Behind the Lockbox is sponsored by Property Showcase Group. Property Showcase Group has a team of creatives, directors, producers, editors, marketing specialists, and designers that work in tandem to tell and share stories of the built environment. Whether you're looking for full service production or simply just in content creation, Property Showcase Group can help take your business to the next level. To learn more or to contact Property Showcase Group to schedule a consultation, you can find them at propertyshowcasegroup.com. That's spelled P R O P E R T Y S H O W C A S E G R O U P.com. Propertyshowcasegroup.com. Now that you're bringing that up, it, it brings up that point. Yes. Right. Where I think some agents really do go that extra mile. Like you and I, we probably would have been like, hey, let's clear this house out. Let's, you know, make it look the best possible. Yep. Where others are just like, yep. hey, I'm going to put a lockbox on there yep. and call it a day. Yep. I mean, even some and to that point, like I pretty much do. It's rare that I've put a lockbox on a property and not shown it. I think I've done it with one property in my career, even no matter where it is mm-hmm. if it's my listing i will go and show it i just think you have yeah. to mm-hmm. it's the that's your job yeah. you know what i mean and like we have a teardown over here and i show it every time no one's there it's vacant like their furniture is still in it and it's you know well, you have to sell it too you know what i mean like and there's also the a lot to that property too in terms of like the land and what you can do there and all that kind of stuff so it, you're right. I mean, there is definitely something to that where it's just a lot of people will just throw a lockbox on and to that point too is just <sighs> 
like they say sometimes it sucks when you're the one with the common sense right because then <laughs> my oh why i'm like oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Or we always are side texting. We're like, how is this happening? And why are we the, always the ones dealing with it? Or like, you know, always the one. I, I know. I just, or how I about can't. when they have a showing and they cancel like three minutes before? I'm like, like, where's the consideration? You couldn't, you couldn't have told me that. Like, I, I don't know. know. Yeah, I know. I know. No, I know. there's a lot of those things. And I think like, like I, I road's exhausting, but it will take us further for sure. I agree. Yes. And I think that's what's gonna, always going to stand out. And, and like I say, it's communication one-on-one. Mm-hmm. Like, 101. why do people just complicate it and make it harder? Right. And honestly, I, I absolutely love what I do. I love my clients. Yes. And like I said, I think that is the hardest part. And I, I mean, there was a time, too, with a client just, you know, they call me and they're like, hey, you know, because I set up searches and I send them individual yes. stuff. And um, they drove by this house and they had a for sale sign and they send me the information and they're like, hey, we, you know, we just came across this one. Can you look into it for us? Well, the phone number on there was disconnected. Yes. On oh, like the for sale sign. Yes. So no I'm like, how do they way. expect to sell this house if the number doesn't <laughs> even work? And then I call back. And it's like an out-of-state area code, too. You're like, okay, fabulous. Like, yeah, like, it's just weird. Wow. And so, like, sometimes there's all this chasing you're doing, too, that people don't even realize, right? Because yeah. to them, it's like, hey, here's this. But, like, like wait, there's and, no Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, there's so much that's going on behind the scenes It's that we're trying to do. And like you said, wild. I think that is the most frustrating part is when you're really trying to get your client information and you just get nothing from the other. Yeah. If there's something, I don't know, I'm like, wow, I should know that. I will get right back to you. And right. I all exactly always will i mean yes. it is like again 101 it's wild yeah i know yeah i know, I know. yeah that's definitely where it makes it harder but you know i yes. would love for someone to tell me so for all of our like, clients please have some grace because you have no idea you have no idea i, I agree know. that's crazy yeah anyway we're always putting out fires that they're not even aware of yeah i mean things can always go wrong and yeah that's kind of what i always tell myself with every transaction something's gonna go wrong there's no such thing as a smooth it will transaction. absolutely go wrong and even i think i've had one i literally have had one to date that i can think of and my buyer said to me at the end wow this was so easy is this how it always goes and i was like no No. (laughs) this never goes this way but i am so glad and they were a referral to me and they came from san francisco and they're actually i've told them they live in claremont and she did call me and she's like we kind of want to move to cardiff and i was like i will buy your house i love the house that we got them (laughs) it was actually a flip Mm -hmm. the most gorgeous flip i have seen to date oh wow this contractor basically did he did a full remodel but he is a flipper Mm -hmm. and i mean the baseboards lined up there was no gapping at the floor you know what i'm talking about oh yeah it was stunning and they actually paid attention to detail he was fantastic he came back and like did some other stuff for them they're actually going to push out their master bedroom and they hired brent they're going to hire brent i think our architect and they're going to use him to do the work because he was just he was amazing so it happens every once in a while where but that is literally the only one in 10 years that i can be like yeah it was the only one where and this was wild it was in the middle of COVID. it was 2021 in the height of the market, we had just started looking. It was like the second or third house we found. We looked at this one and we went back through and I called the agent. She's like, well, it just fell out of escrow and we have no other offers. And she, I was like, what well, was it in escrow? And she's like, 830, 820, I don't remember what. And I was like, so if we offer that, you'll take it. She's like, absolutely. Not wrote an offer that night. She took, we didn't even have to compete. This oh is the God. time where we were competing against 20 and 30 offers. I mean, we're kind of, we're back in that, unfortunately. My last listing, I had uh, 17 offers on it. Matt yeah, Toby had what thirty on that Scripps Ranch one to go insane. through all those. It, it's it is. It's, it's, it's and that's another. That's another side of things, right? Where yep. people, even when you have that many offers and you're sitting there reviewing yeah. all these offers, I mean, once again, all, yeah, yeah, and that's why you can go. Like I tell people, there are times where I go a month and a half, two months without a day off at yeah. all, oh, because yeah. it's just everything carries over. It does. Whether you have your listings and you're preparing for those, getting them ready, you're, and then you're doing open houses, then you're following up with, you know, your open house um, clients, yeah. like, you know, just Mind everything you're working in the contract. the entire time until you get paid. Thank yeah. you. That's yes. another point. Let's, let's yeah, let's point that out. Be very clear about that. Yes. Yep. Everything, everything you're working for free until, until that deal closes. Yeah. They want yeah. you to yeah. pay for all the marketing and all that. Everything. Yes. Yeah. And, and I, another thing people may not know, when you take a listing, you often so again you're fronting the marketing Mm -hmm. so that's the photos that's all the advertisement you're doing that's our money it's all of our money if that listing does not sell gone we lost our money we're out yeah it's an investment for us and i make that very clear Mm -hmm. to my clients and 
let them know the breadth of the marketing that of the money that we are. I mean, our team alone spends 50K a month. So much. Not, so yes. much money in yeah. marketing. I mean, our whole team together, not mm-hmm. just me. But it's it's wild. And so, yeah, it's it's an investment on our end. And I really always then, I'm now at the point, and I know you've always probably, I'll take just about any deal or I'll try to start doing that because <laughs> I'll sell anything. But <laughs> if it becomes something where it's a toxic relationship or environment or whatever, and it's just not worth you, you have to know your worth and kind of be like, I'm well, it's not. also that that's another point where people always think like, oh, you know, if the client wants to work with me, but it's both ways, both ways, because for me, same, you know, I and I'm very easy to get along with. Yep. So you are if if for some reason something feels off. Yeah. And sometimes to us, a woman, I think it's hard um, when you just have certain people just really flirting with you and. You know, yeah. you're already like, okay, this is this is uncomfortable. Yeah, and you know. you're married. I'm single, so yeah. it's uncomfortable well, regardless. But they don't care. I literally had care. someone ask me, "But are you happily married?" Yeah. So even the fact that I'm married doesn't matter to them. They want to know if I'm happily married. Wow. You're like, uh, yeah, I am. I'll punch <laughs> you with this rock. Thank you very much. I've even had it going so. the other way where um, I was on a team and I was doing most of the paperwork and stuff, and some guy would not work with me at all because I was a woman. Wow. I haven't had that one yet. Yeah, I haven't either. Yeah. I mean, I've had clients where like we've tag team stuff with people on our team and it's like me and whoever and they definitely seem to defer to him. You mm-hmm. know, they're the yeah. same age, yeah. it's a male, whatever. You know what I mean? But no, it's, you know. That's hard. Might to- be 2023, but we're not as far as we think we are. No. Anyway. Okay. We play a game. Oh. A quick little game at the end of every episode. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> it's easy, I promise. So Cam, it's called Punch List. And Cam is going to ask you three questions, kind of rapid fire. First thing that comes to your mind. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm nervous. Yeah. What's the craziest or pettiest thing that's ever killed or almost killed one of your deals? Oh, it can be quick. I'm like, because there's so many. Um, oh, my gosh. I forgot to talk about this one. Yeah. It was uh, during a showing, um, someone that went to show that house put a hole in the wall. Yeah. It's like the agent or the uh, potential buyer? We don't know because the seller, the wall. there was a, a hole, hole there's a hole in the wall during the showing and uh, the seller went, you know, back home looked, and then he sends me photos and he's like, there's a hole in the wall. How big? Probably fist. Like, yeah. So we're like, but who puts a hole in the wall? Right. And it so, wasn't like doorknob, like where a door slammed. No, no, no. It. On like, the wall. It was like full on like. Yeah. On the wall. What did the buyer's agent say? Well, I mean, we had so many showings that day. You don't that, know when it happened. I, I know who, I mean, like, you know, who went, who there, but how do right. you pinpoint who it was? Right. And you can't go accusing people you, to absolutely be like, absolutely not. You look like you might have punched a hole in the wall. You look, you look angry. Old. Yeah. You look angry to me. Your buyers. <laughs> yeah. But it was, yeah, it was wow. kind of wild. And yeah, I, get, I mm. mean, I hadn't seen that before, but yeah, I actually forgot to talk about that during the That's episode. Crazy. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad we talked. Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's the weirdest thing or situation you've ever walked in on? <laughs> probably the <laughs> probably the porn. porn yeah but not me but i'll tell you about someone oh okay, yeah that used to it. be on my team okay um they're not on the team anymore but <laughs> she same thing showed up for a showing and um she said you know, they're going through the rooms and stuff and one of the doors is closed so and it happened to be for the main bedroom oh, God. so she opens the door and the gentleman is happy time on no. the bed oh <laughs> do i know this agent i think so I'm not going to say the name. Okay. Yeah. I can tell you after, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I yeah. actually, I've been waiting for something like that. Okay. Like I know. People. I'm kind of surprised there's not more of those. Oh, I'm sure there is. We'll get, I'm sure we'll get people on, but it's, I have yet, I've only walked in on like tenants like sleeping or, you know, it hasn't been anything like crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, when I heard that one, I was like, oh. anytime a door is closed, I'm like, Knock, knock. Hello? Hello. Like, I'm like, taking it open. I'm like, oh, God, I'm scared. Like, mm-hmm. oh, wow. Oh, gosh. And could you imagine if you were him, too? Oh, he, well, I don't know. I, I feel like he would have done it for oh. He knew the showing was scheduled. Oh, it's not. I mean, we have to schedule these showings. It's not like we just That's show true. up and say, hey, we're here. That's like a no, we know. Knew. Especially he when knew. it's occupied. So I think it was more of something that literally. Oh, <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Gross. Okay. That's the third okay. one. Okay. I love it. <laughs> I could actually be... love this so much. <laughs> if you could be anything other than a real estate agent, what would you be and why? Anything. <laughs> yeah. This was hard just because I love helping people. 
And being that I was already in TV and stuff for like 15 years, yeah. I've always thought about how these two will come together someday. Right. Um, but so if I could be, be on Selling Sunset. <laughs> my purpose is just to help people, right? Mm -hmm. Like, but if I could be, ooh, it's really hard. I don't know. Do you want to know what I said? Yeah, please. A country singer. Oh, yeah. I can't sing for crap. Oh, me either. Me but either. Like, no, I'm not even, not even going to try. I, I just like, I love music. So like I would, I'd love to be like a country singer. I think that'd be so fun. I think probably like have my own TV show, but yeah. where's with the positive voice because yeah. I think there's just too much negativity in the world. Do you need yeah. to start a podcast? I might. I think yeah. you do. People have told me that a lot, yeah. you know, but like, how, like where do you find that time one. with everything, right? Girl, but I do. I, I just, I think because naturally people- I haven't people, slept in 48 hours. It, like, let me just tell you. It's been, yeah. Yeah. No, people naturally come to me all the time and like my family and close friends know this. Like people just open up to you. Yeah. Like they tell you their life story and they yeah. don't even know you. And I'm like- yeah. Yeah, you know, so I, I think there's something said with that. So I know I'm meant to help others. You know, I always have. You would have a great talk show. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that if I yeah. could have anything, it's just, yeah, but but it would have to be something in a very positive light. Like mm -hmm. I said, not not anything where it hurts anyone or mm -hmm. or like I don't like to be portrayed. Like I am who I am, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to be in a show. Kind of, I know what you mentioned the show, um, you know, like Selling Sunset anything and all reality stuff. where it's just drama. Well, yeah, it's, and so it's scripted. Yes. Right. So everyone kind of gets told what role they need to play. Right. Right. And for right. me, I have a hard time being told. Yeah. Yourself. Like, you know, yeah. Right. It's like, no, this is, it's who I am mm -hmm. and love me or, or not, you know, yeah. and, and that's okay. Like, no, nah, I'm not for everyone and I'm absolutely okay with, with that. that. Same. Yeah. But yeah, I would say, I would say that if it Don't was you anything. Just love her? I do. Yeah. I know. No. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I truly love where this episode went because yeah, we have not really gone here yet. So I love it. Thank you so Thank much for you. being here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Bye. All right, everyone. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening. Behind the Lockbox is produced and edited by Property Showcase Group. If you like this podcast, please share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, or review this podcast. Thanks for your support. See you next week.